Okay, we are live. Hi, this is William Ramsey. Welcome to William Ramsey Investigates on today's show. I have a very special guest. His name is Jim Smith, and he operates the Smiley Face Cult or at Smiley Face Cult on X or Twitter. And we've been associates studying this phenomenon of the SFK for an incredible amount of time, eight or nine years. It's hard to believe. My first documentary, which was three and a half hours long, he was the primary researcher, and that was uh dropped in 2017 and it's 2024 and we have noted we followed this riley strain situation so rest in peace riley from beginning to end just like so many other of these cases that we followed but this one was different this had so much press so much social media attention it was really like nothing i've seen but it the riley strain case didn't happen in a vacuum there has been a global, certainly in the U.S., there's been so many cases, and I probably don't even have all of the cases Jim might, but I have 20 names, and some of these are ongoing, like Caleb Harris in Corpus Christi, which is in a, a long line of uh, disappearing people. He's still missing, but some of these other ones are remarkable and we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Riley Strain, but also some of the, go over some of these other cases that all fit this profile. Knight disappeared, Mr. Family's, you know, mystified. Then for later to be found in a river, nobody sees him go in the water, just like Riley Strain, right? So anyway, Jim Smith, welcome back to the show. Thanks, William. Appreciate you having me on. Great. To yeah, be great. You. I mean, you're doing just like so much journalism, actual real journalism as somebody who's not even in that line of work it's incredible that all these other people aren't doing or seeing the big picture i mean i saw that you were invited on one show this woman who wisely got you on her show but that's also kind of an interesting thing like i just published a book in september and maybe i just haven't put out enough press stuff about it but i didn't get one call about riley strain i mean i think people are reading my social media was like crazy blew up great like crazy but nobody seemed to really even want to uh, engage me with the, the stories of other cases like this which i think is still kind of still kind of stunned by it like interesting wow. yeah yeah it should have i agree because you wrote a great book did a great service to america and people in general and young men because uh you made it really easy for people to read it all in one place it's a, it's a great book so yeah, I just I tried to do that. That was really my just kind of put the history together so people could see the unfolding of this phenomenon, but also unfolding of the research, right? Because there's other researchers out there. There's the girl from Boston who did the cryptid antiquarian and mm -hmm. Nicole Wisenzi Egan, Jack mm -hmm. Murphy, there's so awesome. many other good people out there. So it's uh, not as many I, as we need, though, well, as true. you know. True. We need more. Which, True. which which, was uh, an interesting thing about the Riley Strain case was that I feel like for the first time that the, tr the crime community actually came together and worked together for the most part. There were some people saying some really dumb things, but a lot of people really had all their energy and focus on Riley Strain early. And that's the first time that's ever happened in any of these cases. It was great to see. I agree. I agree. There really, there really was a lot of activity on um, social media. Like the people are exchanging stuff on Twitter, sharing information, a lot of information sharing, which is always good to see as well. Like people just putting stuff out, not holding the cards kind of tight to their chest. And maybe some other researchers who I will not name, but right. Um, right. Yeah. I, so I that agree. was positive. So yeah. No, and I, people I do great work. Like there were great videos Mm -hmm. People doing diagrams and maps like I was I was used to doing that back in 2017, but the other people picked up, man. So I got to give kudos. I may not remember your name offhand, but some of those guys were good. And I, you know, I, I retweeted a lot of those really good videos of the running away guy, the mysterious running away guy and mm -hmm. where Riley was last seen. And so that's that's a positive and then doing the work the police should be doing. Right. Which. uh I mean, I hope they're still on this case. They still seem to be like interviewing people to see who really was with Strain at the last moment he was seen, right? They seem to be. They, they definitely. I, I wonder what they they know that we don't know. I mean, I, I 
all the camera angles and there's only so much space left that they can't have on camera and there has to have been something happened right there. And, you know, do they have that on camera and they're just not telling us, right? Or right. is there tr is there a true blind spot where the people who did this knew and they were caught on cameras they didn't know that were there? Um, right. And I have, I have a bunch of slides and I'll show somebody actually took screen grabs of each car that passed by around the time frame. So maybe somebody can screenshot that. Maybe somebody could get do the legwork on that and figure out all those cars that were around there. Or the cell phones, too. Like, I don't have the capacity to subpoena the cell phone companies. Mm -hmm. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. If they were serious about stopping this and finding out what's going on, they would do that right now. They're exactly, they're exactly oh. right. GPS okay. and, and find, you can find it, the car tags in those pictures that somebody was able to track down. That's where all this happened. And we, we are doing the work that the police should have been doing. They don't want to do the work. They want this to go away. Yeah, and no doubt. it's not going away. And right. and I, you and I both know why. I, I remember we talked. I was just in Nashville last summer, and I stayed downtown. And it was I was there for um, a work function, and it was during Gay Pride. Um, and I was shocked that there hadn't been more murders in Nashville. Um just because of the bar scene and it being right downtown next to a river, right? Right so. next to the river. I mean, that's, that's a wild bar scene downtown on broad street. I mean, there's lots of stuff going on down there. Right. No, it is. It's, it's pretty incredible. Now it's, now it's happened there. And this guy, Riley strength fits the full profile, right? Skinny, tall, good looking, athletic, intelligent, college. Very. Like, I think he's a senior at, uh, from Missouri. Missouri, right? Mm -hmm. So no, everything except for how tall he was. That's that was the one shock that just because we don't normally see victims that big. I've seen a couple, but he is 165 pounds. Uh, he, that fits. Everything fits. Um, this whole case. I mean, it's just really textbook smiley face killer oh. cases too, I beginning mean, to end, all the way through, and even the cops. Yes. this guy Blake, a four minute press conference oh yeah we found his body he was wearing a shirt and watch and leaves out that he was missing his boots intentionally and yeah intentionally I know. so I know. wrap it up okay we're done and we're just they're just going to clean that stuff up so it's disgusting nashville pd should be ashamed of themselves this is still suspicious you can go people were sending me pictures from the river looking up at where riley strain supposedly dropped off and drowned and it's more probable to like see Sasquatch there or something like right. It's just, yeah, I mean, you would have to have fallen off, then rolled, because mm -hmm. even when you get to the river's edge, you're it's not a drop off. You have to wade out into the uh, what's the name of that river? It's not the Cumberland. The Cumberland, thank you. Mm -hmm. The Cumberland to get to the point, like if you're to six feet deep or something. So it's like bunch of known people are just asking in the chat about those two women nobody's confirmed to me that Clint denning worked at luke bryan's bar have you been heard, able to confirm that I, I was told that that's not true okay and i and i and they and a person who told me that swears by it i i you know so we're gonna keep investigating that that where there's smoke there's fire i i don't know what i don't want to get in trouble tonight by saying stuff but I definitely still stand by my original statement that this all started at Luke 32 and yes, yeah. that this was put into motion on purpose and he was picked there and that he was whoever gave the order to kick him out, whoever that person was. And that's easy to be proven. They're they're in They're involved. And, and there's interesting because there was a famous or semi-famous, a musician in Nashville who chucked a chair off of his roof. And you'll see that in the slides that I have tonight, but they were able to find the video of that, but the video of Riley at that bar has not been released. They um, have it. Yeah. Yeah. I know they should receive, give it. If they had a conscience, Luke, Brian, should That's tell right. somebody at his bar mm -hmm. to release the entirety of that video. Cause there's mm -hmm. a bunch of like semi autistic people who will grind through that like crazy. They will find the moment. They will find Riley. I promise you there are people, mm -hmm. there are bloodhounds 
of true crime, like the real people, not these kind of goofballs like Coffin Daff or <laughs> Brown. I mean, not to get a dig in there, but there, no, no, the, no, no. Let's 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 keep that going. Let's talk yeah. about some of the goofballs Ugh. on Twitter and how much it hurts uh, Ugh, the true hurts crime so committee. I mean, community Ugh. because it's people like that are are given they they're hurting real crimes. I like no question. But it's ridiculous. They they should be shunned. And there's so many people who think that they should be listened to. Like they should be shunned. They're Don't. making a living. Coffin Daffer is making a living. She's on shows. I think she's like selling stuff, man. She and she's terrible. They all have this kind of like urination theory. I made fun of it on yes. social media. Like I love that it. Somehow they get they these guys. Same thing happens in in Austin. They're mm -hmm. capable of getting to mm -hmm. the river and they pull down their zipper and then black out. Like it is so crazy. Like, and the, and the, the, the desire for a man's like thinking, guys, I got to get to a river to take a leak. Like no man ever thinks that they want to go like, even on a golf course, if you're drinking beer, it's just like, okay, where's a tree that nobody where's a tree. Me? Yeah. Uh, I want to just find a place that's, a, you know, private that nobody can see my, my, business and i'll walk right back like go into a park mm -hmm. so the whole notion that these women have that men are like drawn to rivers to urinate is a total joke uh it's worse than that yeah. i will say they also said months ago that maybe these men were possibly autistic or special needs and that that's the reason why because so many special needs children end up in water when they go missing like younger people and they, they flat out said that i mean so you know I, I i hate to draw a red line in the sand with people in our community but i want nothing to do with those people who are making a mockery of these crimes yeah. and are making it worse when there's there's actual real serious people suffering right now and they could care less real families i mean the guy was taken out of the rest of his life like I mean, the guy, uh, I mean, he's obviously not autistic. He's going to the University of Missouri and going to graduate. So right? disrespectful. So, yeah. It, it's so on, disrespectful. Guys. And so it just lacks such common sense. Like, it's so, no, it's just, it's just funny. But yeah, they, they were so wrong. Again, yeah, so many yeah. people were so wrong uh, when all this happened and they were saying that, oh, he, this was just drunk and there was an excuse for every single moment. And, and then as the crime continued to go on, people, really got embarrassed i feel like by this accident like excuse and when then really it really popped off when the, they came out and they found out that his shoes and his uh his phone was never found and yeah where's his know. phone where's his wallet why is he missing for for two weeks mm -hmm. and this whole story from freaking police chief blake like he just popped up did he mm -hmm. was he under something how do you pop up what was the we haven't found out the condition of the body it's not been discussed. Like, was he in the water for, for 14 days? I want to know. Yeah. Or was he, was his body in perfect shape? It's crucial. Like the, the story of Dakota James, for example, is perfect example. Mm -hmm. His body was not in the water for 40 days. Sorry. No. There's no, no way. Nope. Time of death was off. I know we can confirm that. That's a fact. Yeah. So those are things left out. A lot of those. Bro, the, those, those so-called true crime experts don't even ask that question. They have never said how they've never asked. Even uh, what's the other kind of shrill girl that's on there? It's on TV all the time. I can't remember her name. Anyway, she doesn't even ask that question either. She should know better. The one who's the former prosecutor. Nancy Grace. Nancy Grace. Yeah, thanks. Even though she did cover the story, and, she, and she, I have to give her credit. She's covered the stories, and I and I hope I hope all these people we're talking about are listening tonight. They probably not, but that's fine. But Nancy Grace, I, she bothers me. I do appreciate the fact that she does cover some of these stories, but she's seen multiple of these stories and refuses to push them all together. She covered Dakota James's right. murder. She covered Shane Montgomery's murder. She's covered many of these murders, and yet. When one happens, right. they use it as a way to get ratings, and then it goes away, yeah, and then they stop. Right. You know, it's disappointing, right. and I, I'm just I'm going to start firing at people b about this because it's not fair, and I it, it's just done for clicks and uh, right. such worse. Cri so much crime attainment. How about a new word? Yes, that's exactly it. That's a great word. Like I like just them. getting clicks. They're they're getting people excited. Oh, he's found dead. Over now into the next story. Let's move over to Caleb Harris. So that other kid that's missing in Nashville or whatever. 
his name i can't remember yeah, but, no, yeah. You said it. yep yeah so it's uh it's bad there's something yeah. definitely going on and and it's been it's been the worst i've seen it in a really long time since the middle of the month since yeah. caleb and uh what happened to riley um yeah no it's very strange like we had that one kill cycle in chicago that was bad mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. was what two years ago or was that last year like i can't even remember but like that one was bad like and then austin too but now mm-hmm. this is globally this is the worst i don't think i've ever seen it this bad it's been all over in all the hot spots too yeah, every yeah. single hot spot has had uh lots of activity yeah right and new yep. places uh um, new york boston austin now uh, the kid in Fort Lauderdale, that was a for, uh, West Point. Even Morris. Yes. I was just, I wish, I don't understand why he doesn't get more attention. Like I was yeah. doing some more research on him today and, you know, li- I mean, listen to this. He was out with his four, three friends and all three friends won't talk to the cops or the, or the media. Huh? Oh, interesting. And that, and, and, and he was at a Irish pub right by the river. Same thing. Acting funny. Disappeared. Found exactly where he was last seen. The river two days later, the whole deal. It's wow. Yeah, it's such so totally ignored. I mean, totally ignored. Totally just you know written off as like accidental drowning, going out to pee. If anybody, all the same. You, yeah, you can discredit a crime analyst if they ever like chalk these up to going out to pee. Nobody sees these people go into water. By the way, it's always at night. Nobody sees them go into water. It's much worse than that, as you know. It's you're you're exactly right. Um, the law law enforcement and the media that's that's a great point, but they seem to be making up that they have videos and that they've never released, and that's a common theme in a couple of these places that are censoring these stories really hard, like Boston, where they've said, "Uh, well, yeah, we have uh them near the water, but right. you know they never released the video ever." Ever right, they I'm did the same thing in Austin. Correct. They found somebody by the river, and they just said they just denied it. So this week, their censorship's mean. happening. Yeah, yeah, that was by City Hall too. And um, I think it was in the river. I don't think they were telling the truth because the the the, the gentleman who is in Austin, who I don't really care for very much, but he is he had video of that. Um, dash the dash. Yes. Dash. Yep. And I the only reason I even say that he does decent work, but I just don't feel like he cares about the victim. Somebody else is trying to get clicks um, and doesn't understand what <laughs> is going on there. Um, Austin's a perfect storm, though. It it really is. I mean, I yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't go out down there if I was nope. in my twenties. No way. The, with no the way. police and the crime that they're having and the issues and how many people have been targeted and how many. Uh, bodies keep popping up all over Austin. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's no crazy. sir, all over. It's almost like they're weird, like Western company towns, where like if anything goes wrong, the first instinct is to cover up because the money has to keep flowing, right? Tax revenues, so they're never going to really want to say that there's you know groups targeted kids getting getting abducted. You know, they never would admit to it. It's crazy. Hmm. Yeah. They're they're gonna have to uh, because it's it's becoming such a yeah. problem and it's it's obviously growing. Yeah, it's growing, and the public's figuring it out. They're starting to make you know I see the random people on social media. Is this a smiley face killing murder? You know they're mm-hmm. starting to use that. And by the way, I would be happy to take the label of smiley face killers off this. If there's some other na- label. We can use. I'm happy happy for. Let's come up with one. I I hate the stupid smiley face killer name for these murders. I I couldn't agree more. Yeah, you know, um, absolutely, it hurts so bad. What's what's going on? I mean, I, I, how how is this not just terrorism, right, or something? I mean, more people are being, more Americans are being killed, more young men are being killed in America than in Afghanistan right now. Than with the last month, we've had over twenty. Young men. I mean, there's other stories that I didn't post that don't fit exactly, but are very suspicious. But I mean, those yeah. twenty, I feel like are, are, are dead ringers. Yeah, yeah, maybe no a bad doubt. word. Yeah, no, it's it's so strange. I mean, we can go through like the other one. There was a Christopher Elvin at the University of Richmond died in a pond at the University of Richmond. There was a couple other pond, right? Too, yeah. and he was from the Caribbean. Yeah. 
and he doesn't he didn't he doesn't know how to swim i, I was yeah. saying that that's not i'm i grew up in the caribbean as a young boy and um every everybody knows how to swim and all and th- that was another phantom phone call that alerted them to the body um the same way what happened in austin this week where people like an anonymous phone call is used to alert police or people to the body when the body's dumped. Wow, that's crazy. That's what happened in that in both those cases. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. So just anonymous calls, weird things. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's just weird, eerie, strange things with so many of these cases. Just like Nas Rahimi and all those weird people around him. Mm-hmm. I mean, he ran into a very rough crowd. But also, even this case with that kind of strange trans, trans looking girl crying and the finding of the card, and she's there, and then she's at the, the vigil too, and then she's barking at the, the, at the, the chief, chief of police. I mean, mm-hmm. whoa. Like, I would, mm-hmm. you know, whoa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something else. You know? Yeah. Right. You, I, I, what, what, is the, what do the police think about yeah, that just person? Something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Something. What and she just hap- hey, she just happened to be involved in church burnings when she was back at the University of Alabama. Wow. Yeah. Strange. Like these these strange how these kids went out and burnt churches like they were reading satanic literature to burn churches down. They, you know, that's that's a one of the parts. I mean, if we can get into the ONA type stuff, mm-hmm. but uh they that's what their literature is. It's burn churches. And even it goes back to also, this kind of like black metal in Norway, Sweden, it's a component, you know, of this kind of really dark stuff. I mean, it's so strange. I mean, wow. Like, yeah. she would be all over this case and also, in, like, associated with guys who went to jail. <sighs> um, it, is, it is strange. I've never seen anything. Yeah. Like, whoa. Quite like weird. this. Mm-hmm. Then you have Owen Cameron, 17-year-old kid, disappears. Middletown, Newport, Rhode Island area, mm-hmm. found I, dead in water. I, I predicted that before he even was found, just by based on the story. Yep, yep. Um, we don't know where he went. You know, just so weird. Again, another place that has consistent of uh, these type of crimes, though, right? A history, and mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. you can just tell. That's that's what that's why I'm able to do some of the stuff because I've been doing this so long. It's the same places over and over. Um, you know, it, it's been such a weird run up. What about what about the kid that was the photographer, um, Flores? And they said he died of cold water. This was also right after Riley went. Um, I don't remember the Flores case. I don't have it. He was, a, he was a photographer, and you know, they just buried him. And he they said he fell into the pond where he was taking pictures. And he died, and it was from a cold. They said the water. <laughs> this was the excuse they use. Just the cold temperatures, to, I guess, made him go into immediate shock. Um, what was his uh, name? I'll have to. We'll have to bring that up anyway. Yeah, but the, there's the notes. There's a lot of great comments, guys. Like, there's a lot of stuff. I'll have to go back through all these uh, when we're done talking and just kind of address them. But. Uh... Yeah, we got over 100 people listening on X right now. So, not being censored there. YouTube, another question. But um, <laughs> do we want to take some questions? Do we have? Yeah, if questions? anybody has any questions, please line them up. Uh, Wayne actually asked. Question is to be is why is the government wanting to cover this up? Like, I think that's a good question. You want to answer that first? No, go ahead. You think? I, I'm I'm, all I can think of is that. It's, it just comes down to crime statistics more than anything because there's no reason for a police uh, in an area to take on extra murders when they're already classified as accidents. And especially when a body is found in water, it's never a crime scene. It's always a recovery, and uh, evidence is not collected. So right. that's number one. Number two, they're not going to change accidents into murders. The the murder rate would be much higher. It's easier for them to pretend like these are accidents. That's it's, But they're not doing very well right now, which they're starting to censor these stories because there's so many of them. They don't like right. what I'm doing. Right. Right? No, People. the censorship's incredible. They're deliberately doing it in Boston. There's absolutely no question about it. Correct. Austin, no too. Name. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's incredible. Yeah. Let's see. They can't they can't keep everything though. That's the funny part about it, is that they, they can keep they can censor some of this stuff, but a lot of it is able to filter out. That's what I've noticed on even stories where we're able to talk to people who were involved close a lot of times in these stories where people tell us stuff that the media doesn't know. For instance, we had reporting about Riley missing his shoes and everything like four days before they ever announced it um, wow. in the media and were attacked for it. But we were 100 percent right because someone who was a follower was friends with someone who recovered the body and they confirmed it. Um, wow. yeah. That's happening more and more. Wow. Yeah. J1 asks, can you talk about the 09A theory and how it could relate to the young man? 09A theory is really kind of Igor Sarsky stuff. He was the one who told me about it. I did a whole research on it. You can read Global Death Cult, but basically their core beliefs are like really nasty, noxious kind of Satanism, but they believe in going out and selecting a sacrifice and then killing them without somebody finding out. So it's like a secret killing. And you go through a selection process, but they have a real affinity for water, and there's all kinds of water motifs in their work. And there's been a theory of trying to tie them to some of these. They've been tied to other crimes, but not specifically to these types of uh, water deaths. But uh, yeah, it's uh, that's kind of the theory. I go. You can read about it in my other book, Global Death Cult, which kind of ties into the Smiley Face Killers, at least as far as speculative type stuff. Maori Maori asks, has there ever been another case that has obvious connections to social media influencers? Good question. There was one with Bruce Springsteen that I remember offhand that happened in Boston. His name was Garcia, and it involved Springsteen actually retweeted it. Franco Garcia. Franco Garcia, yeah. Same kind of case out late at Chicago. night. Last scene. Mm -hmm. I think it was Boston. I think it was. Uh, no, no, you know, you're right. Um, and then he was last seen in a camera from a. Uh, a bank camera or whatever it was, ATM disappeared. Last place they they searched this uh, reservoir, like you know the classic search. Mm -hmm. Then so he pops up. This is very much like the Riley Strain. Mm -hmm. Pops up the morning somebody's jogging, right? So like they never make this connection. These so it's just so frustrating. They never make a connection that somebody's put in the water, and that's why he's found early morning, right? Not at freaking three p.m. All these guys are found early in the morning, by the way, to go to James, all this stuff. Anyway, all of them. Fr mm -hmm. Yeah, Franco Garcia was retweeted by um, by Bruce Springsteen. There was another one that was kind of a similar case because it involved Grinder, but it was the name of Kevin Bacon in, in Michigan. It was followed by a social, a trans sexual social media influencer. And Kevin Bacon actually tweeted because they both have the actor Kevin Bacon because they both have the same name. But hmm. that guy could have been. They found his body in a dungeon. Um, but oh yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah, but he could have been thrown in the water eventually. I don't know. But they actually the cops in that case did a great job. Actually, there's a really good show of featuring this guy Latunsky, who was the convict now convicted killer. Um, it was called interrogation live or something look that up for latunsky because that guy fit the profile of a smiley face killers and he worked at a, a chemical company in pittsburgh exactly where dakota james was found like literally there's this island in the ohio river i think it is yes and that latunsky had a tie to that it's unbelievable wow yeah yeah no and and his social media was so freaking weird Let's i remember go. seeing his social media yeah. from you but i didn't yeah. realize he worked at a chemical company that was there. yeah yeah in pittsburgh oh. down river like down river like really crazy so i i you know my instincts when this guy like that guy's done this like killed people before is my view and he talked like an ona thing he talked about sacred honor and fulfilling people's wills and all this stuff that very strange kind of philosophical outlook so i'm trying to think of other social media influencers offhand but anyway if you look into springsteen's friends it's kind of disturbing like springsteen hangs out with some hyper sketchy people he's bit he's really good friends with obama and r.i.p to Fari campbell who uh, was found in water uh recently and good friends with david geffen so that gets really disturbing 
Hmm. Yeah, yeah, go look into that. What if these Frank are state? Yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say Franco Garcia, just funny, uh, was a study in chemistry and played cl clarinet. And it was in Boston, of course. You're right. You had a good memory in the reservoir. I do remember that case where they did search that reservoir and they didn't find him. I, I get that case and Harsha Mandula and uh, Chicago uh, mi right, mixed up. Right. Another big case around the same time. Um, the you know, the that, reason that, Gar go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you go. The reason Garcia uh, resonates with me is I re I'll never forget, like I was following it online, watching the media, his mother saying to the, the media mm -hmm. he's somewhere alive i feel i can feel it like he's i can feel he's mm -hmm. somewhere alive and she was probably right she's probably i mean from whatever akashic records or spiritual power no 100 she, she was right she, yeah she was right yeah. yeah i've talked to other people that have said the sim similar thing um i talked to a woman who uh this happened a couple times in gulfport mississippi were at where the casinos were to young men same thing hasn't happened there in a while but uh, the twin of a victim she said that the night he passed away she could feel it wow and, yeah. yeah i've heard that with women like they can sense like if they're children or something like there's a heightened sense whatever you a sixth sense or something like that about loved ones passing away or something like that it's like a woman's intuition or something like that uh, high view as if they are satanic could be satanic initiations like i don't know i don't have proof but some of the people surrounding these are freaking creepy and they are say, like into the occult too well i will say what, what what these what these are are people that are true believers and this is why people are not getting busted and that this is being trained and that these people are being taught and this is how the the message is spreading and because the same crimes are done over and over again and they're also right. paying homage to almost like anniversary of high profile cases. Um, Chris uh, Jenkins, right? Uh, right. Brian Schaefer. Um, yeah. Spent 20 years since Brian Schaefer. Uh, anyway. Disappeared, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was Columbus, right? Uh, yes. My first was Joy Labute. Same thing. 19 days mm -hmm. found in water. Mm -hmm. Previously searched. Apparently, the water that he was in was like super clear outside of the Seota river so it wasn't like it was previous you know it's just like how does he just magically appear in the morning same old stuff you know mm -hmm. pick up his body 7 30 8 o'clock mm -hmm. just like riley strain like oh you were read and watch enough of these cases you just see it play out over and over again like people like how do you know that like somebody commented on my social media right like how did you know like you called riley strain right i'm like mm -hmm. dude he fits like all the 20 data points of all these other cases so the 21st it's going to play out just like that so just proves that it's not accidents because the stuff's predictable and right. it's intentional right i mean that's like the another million dollar question it's like of all the places that <clears throat> they could dump a body if it was just about murdering a guy why do they bring them back to the places that have already been searched or where they were last seen right why right, right. And like so some of these people's social media have like cryptic statements, like occult type stuff. Mm -hmm. Just like I mean, it's just all like mm -hmm. like uh, stuff. A uh, question all people ask: Are coroners still claiming that the deaths are dry drowning? Are they finally admitting that deaths occurred in other places, and then the corpses were later placed? Well, good question. Want to answer that? Uh, good question. I would say that the information and in cases that I've been allowed to know. Um, you know, sometimes they, they'll, they'll just stick that it's just a regular drowning and that they just happen to not have water in their lungs. But that's happened many, 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 many times. It's not just drownings, too. I mean, they find people in the water and that the deaths don't come back as accidental drownings. They'll say that, but it's actually an undetermined death, right, right. which is another maddening question. What are they doing to these men to get an undetermined death? Right. Um, Good point. And, and again... Oftentimes, almost so many times, the time of death does not match up. And I bet you Riley Strain's case is the same way, where he was missing yeah. for for so long, but he was probably only dead days. Yeah, I think you're right. Somebody actually asked me on social media, like, are they freezing the bodies? And if you remember the, I think his name was Richard Kaczynski or Kaczynski in New York. He was called the Iceman because he froze bodies and then to confuse mm -hmm. police, right? And there was actually another case, 
And it may have happened to some of these other cases, but there's a case where Gilbertson and Gannon found that the guy had been frozen. His name was oh, no. Nate, Nate Kapfer. Right? Oh, yeah. There's been more than that. There's oh, been really? people okay. frozen. Oh, yeah, for sure. Been yeah. found frozen solid um, in some cases, <clears throat> not all. So, yeah. So the, the, the it's not the corners. A lot of the stuff isn't clear. And a, you have to take a lot of these journal, journalists with a grain of salt because they just hear some hearsay and then claim that it happened. So you kind of have to watch out. Like, I mean, that uh, just happened in this strain case again. Another yeah, great example. Guess, yeah. The uh, with the homeless of uh, rumors. Um, right. People were running with rumors from the from quote unquote homeless people. I never thought they were true, and they ended up not being true. And that's also consistent with other cases where a narrative is trying to be set by people in the background. Yeah. Um, it, right. I mean, that, yeah, yeah. They talked oh. about that shirt so early. That was the first thing they talked about was his shirt that was, you know, had those squares on it. And they said right. somebody said, "Oh, uh, he was um, a homeless person was wearing his shirt." And, you know, and then when we released that video that got almost a million views, that was the main question that everybody kept asking because there was three bodies in that camera angle from the Birch video. And, well, is that shirt, is that person, the first person, is that, is that Riley wearing that shirt? And I feel like if that wouldn't have been asked so much, if they wouldn't have been pushing something that wasn't true, that's my point. Right, right. Yeah, and I mean, push. I mean, if you look at, you can go back through my podcast and look into the case of Scarlett Blake, aka Fang Shi Wang, aka we don't know what his real name is. Like it's unbelievable. They never found out the guy's real name in Oxford, UK. He was caught after he committed the perfect crime. He was caught influencing social media under different names on social media. He had multiple names. The police never found out or never disclosed them to the public. There was no open airing of all their research. They never mentioned his real freaking name. It's unbelievable. But it is probably the first case of somebody actually getting caught committing a smiley face killing. A killing, literally. Like it, it, he did the exact, he was a random guy trying to commit the perfect crime. So that's one of the problems with motive because the standard motives don't apply mm -hmm. lust, greed, jealousy betrayal mm -hmm. what people kill people over mm -hmm. uh, money. hatred money right right um, money's not any part of this yeah, money's not that's, a part that's what i keep trying to explain to people people kept asking us well uh, aren't they gonna isn't there gonna be a ransom or like uh, what if they they're gonna steal their bank card they're gonna they're gonna they stole his phone they're gonna sell it like nope they're not selling a phone they don't want his bank card they don't want their money there's there's never been a case that the card's been used and money's been stolen never, never. once never. uh there's also been many uh, cases that the uh, reward is up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and police don't get one lead. Right, one credible lead. What does that tell you? <clears throat> right, it's not about that, and I mean, it might be. Right? It might, yeah, it might be about lust, but it's never proven. Right, they well, don't know what's going on. I mean, <laughs> if you look at the family murders and stuff like that, like I mean, a torture. Maybe, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe yeah. The, the lust part is the trap. Right. Right. Because right. so many of these men are going someplace and they think that they're going to meet somebody um, like in Chicago or like in Austin with Riley, where he's hustling over someplace. Right. I mean, he with an intention. What, what, what are you going to do? Who are you hustling over there to go meet? Right. Well, that may be like, the whole story of Riley. He was on the phone with somebody either live streaming mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. something. And the, the person was sane enough to talk, to, according to the stories, mm -hmm. talk to the third party, right? So, like, oh, here, Riley. That's why he was headed that direction. Somebody was leading him there or something. So that's the whole thing. And that would make perfect sense, leading him to a car. It fits these other things. It actually ties into, Jim, uh, something that I watched recently, which was a really creepy, just hyper-disturbing documentary called uh, the candy man and the clown, right? So it's about Dean Coral in Texas and John Wayne Gacy, who are connected in a strange way through people, personal acquaintances. Mm. But they, this guy, Norman, who was a full on Epstein before Epstein, but for young boys, but both of those guys, they would drive around in their car. That's how they would find victims. They would be driving around at night and all, all, um, 
all Gacy did was drive around after midnight. That's how we found his victim. So these cars were an essential component of the crime. And that ties into even this broken video, which has the same theme uh, done by Peter Christofferson. So um, the, uh, the cars might be the key component, to be honest with you. People can figure out the cars in the Riley Strain case. And I think I, it's the same thing as like, uh, if you remember the case out of Boston, it was it was the guy who was going north and then they found his phone going south because he was mm -hmm. probably in a car. Mm -hmm. It's um, I can't remember his name. Uh, right. Wasn't it William Hurley? No. Hurley was the one where they broke his phone right away. I don't remember that. Yeah. But I know I know what you're talking about. Like, I know, was it Peter Salvino? Because no, no, um, no, no. in Chicago, he was another victim that, you know, seemed to be, again, on the phone, hustling over someplace that. Right. It's not a violent abduction. Joey LeBue was on his phone. He was on Grinder talking to somebody or something happened. They lured him out. You know, hey, meet me in the car or something like that. Um, no, yeah. he it was uh, Zach. No, it wasn't Zach Marr. He would. That was another one where they should have, you know, interviewed the bouncer and the bartender. But um, I can't remember. I'll, it'll come to me. But it was a Boston case where that happened. Mm -hmm. Hi, Calvinist asked, do you know the name of the girl who complained to the bouncer? No, but if you know the name, please send it to me. Email William Ramsey investigates at protonmail.com. We're going to get it like eventually. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to get it eventually. And very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. They've never, we've never been this far. I will say that. There's never been a case like Riley's that the investigation is still going on this far. By, by every right. case since then, they've been able to put out the flames that these are all accidents. This is not happening. Right. People are still right. working hard. And if they got those videos of those cars, I, I, I believe that's, they made a mistake. Yeah. I have the pictures of that. So people can screenshot it. It's in my mm -hmm. slides. Once we get to them, a uh, J one asking again, when does Jim expect this cycle to end? Good question. I mean, I, I, anytime, uh, it, I, I would assume that it, when Caleb is found, probably. And then yeah, Caleb's yeah. like the last case that we're really watching. That's a high profile case. And I mean, it, it goes hot and cold. It, yeah, it, it does. It, it does. And it's been pretty cold. In fact, New Year's Eve this year was very slow. Um, you know, I thought that possibly St. Patrick's Day would be hunted and we'd see victims. I, we didn't really see any. That was before the week before Riley. Um, so it, they've been pretty quiet uh, up until this past, I guess, the middle of the month. And then it has been an explosion. Um, yeah, crazy. Literally, and no one even asking questions. In fact, the only people that asked any questions was over Riley. And people are, people are asking questions about um, Caleb Harris' case. I mean, the FBI and a lot of law enforcement started immediately working that case, and it was after Riley's case got a lot of attention. Did you notice that? Yes, I've noticed. I noticed today when I was prepping for this that there was a lot of. A lot of resources looking for Caleb Harris, who also kind of like Riley Strain was either on a phone or went to meet somebody. Definitely He's going meeting fishing. somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, I mean, I don't know, was he gay? I don't know. I don't know what Riley's deal was either, but I think he had a girlfriend. So, yeah. Um, uh, there doesn't is matter. A, yeah, it doesn't matter. No, uh, it's the same as Chris Jenkins, though. You know, again, I keep, I keep talking about the Chris Jenkins case, and I'm pretty sure people don't understand why, but Chris Jenkins' case literally is a carbon copy of Riley's case, right? Except for it was at a costume party, but he disappeared. He was not gay. He had a right. girlfriend. His girlfriend was also a suspect. So were the bouncers. Right. And he was in a gay part of Minneapolis. Not sure if oh, you know that. No, and then that. that's where he was walking. And people speculated that, that, you know, he had been attacked. I think was somebody attacked him in that part. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on, but, so similar, yeah, very similar. In he in a re uh fitted or retrofitted Masonic temple, too. That was where their bar that bar was. Yeah, found with a clump of hair. His mom wrote a book about mm -hmm. uh the whole thing. I talked to her, she was on Ed Opperman's show. Um, same kind of thing happened. They went and found looked at the autopsy photos the family did and said, What's this clump of hair doing in his hand? Yeah, and it was from his head. So that made them change, and actually, the new cop uh, changed the designation from accidental drowning to either mal 
venture or something different. Like uh, I forgot what it was. But yeah, that's an interesting this case. Adventure. So I forgot what they, they didn't call it murder, but they didn't call it accidental. What a bunch like, of cowards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had, um, I, I'll, let me tell you, sorry to interrupt you, but um, about the Bryce Borka case, I had a friend who just recently, he put up um, cameras um, where Bryce went missing and he's had cameras up all over and he didn't catch anything other than hunters and obviously Bryce has never been found but I did want to tell you that well wow, interesting yeah he's probably in the river probably in the Mississippi or whatever flows through there I don't, I, through don't, I, don't I don't think so but I think he's, Where, he's still kept something know? else I mean some of these cases people are never found for a reason and I'm not sure I, I think if they wanted them found they would be and I think something's happening worse oh. to them and they can't get rid of them that's just kind of what oh. i assume um that's crazy kind of like brian schaefer right, justin brian Gaines. Schaefer. um there's a there's a lot of people yeah jay one asked are there any groups that may be targets of sfk how can they stay safe well it's young men i mean it's college age men that's what we're talking about not women who do get abducted who do you know horrible things happen they get killed but they for some reason they're not thrown in the river this is like a it's a gender crime against men. I don't know why. They do different things to women for some reason. They 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 I, the most crime that these people do to women is they put them in their car and put them on a boat ramp or roll them into a body of water in the car and a lot of times the the victims are in the back seat. Uh look it up. I mean, there's lots of cases. I and again, girls leaving parties um it's so hard to read these cases because women naturally have predators and men don't not the right. same way and not the same way right not the same way and this is totally different because now uh men definitely have predators in certain cities or if you're out drinking or at a outdoor event like a baseball or basketball game like yeah you could be a victim and i would say the only way to protect yourself i've, I've been thinking a lot about this I, I used to think that it would be impossible that if you were a tough guy for this to happen to you, but that's not true. They've murdered many tough people, MMA fighters. Um, I, if you feel like number one, I wouldn't go by myself anywhere. If you got to stay together with your friends at, at night. And if you start feeling like you've been drugged and you're and isolated, you got to find somebody and yeah, tell fast. them immediately, immediately. Yeah. yeah. And Cause that's really the only, that's what's happening. Is that yeah. and that's what looked like it happened to Riley? Is that the stuff's kicking in so fast that you're out of control? Yeah, they don't know what's going on. Even his friends don't key into it. If they're slightly buzzed too. They don't know that he's been drugged. It's not obvious. I mean, it's strange. People, there's a lot of people who've had serious personality changes. You know, like that's the, really what you have to watch out for. It's like, why is this guy who's pretty even keeled acting so strange? A lot of people don't key. In. I can't, there was one guy in Austin. Like his brother said, uh, he had a Latino last name. His brother said, yeah, I didn't drink too much. He was always exercising. But then that same night, he started acting strange. I was with Gutierrez yeah. or something. They set these guys up. So they set these guys up. You're talking about Martin Gutierrez and Austin? Martin, I think it's Martin Gutierrez, yes. Yes, uh, you're right. Same thing happened to him. But I, I definitely think staying together and just being aware that this is happening is the best thing you can tell your young men or kids who are in college or even in high school. And, you yeah. know, a part of it too, is when you've seen, there's a lot of these cases where men are assaulted, where there's an altercation and then right. they disappear after the altercation. I, I don't know what I would tell somebody to how to protect themselves from that, but being right. by yourself, that's gotta be off the table. Yeah, that's what happened to Seamus Gray, to Seamus Gray acting strange. Yep. And he's like wrestling around on the cement with somebody. Like right. that is strange. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, at two o'clock in the morning or something like that. Huh. And then wanders out in the distance and then later found him water. Yeah. Did, 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 do you think the police followed up on what was going nope. on? No. Ab absolutely yeah. not. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Down at the Naval uh, Pier. Right. I mean, not just su and a swimmer, right? He works in water. Like, it's kind of a joke. Like some of these guys drowning is just, or accidental drowning conclusions are a total joke. Papa Grande asked pathologists such as Michael Bott and Cyril Wecht. Well, Cyril Wecht helped two families out that I know flat out, which were uh, Dakota James and mm -hmm. uh, what's his name out of New York? Uh, 
what's the first guy? Uh, patient Zero. What's his name again? It's found in the water treatment facility with uh, yeah, I know, with I the know. other guy, yeah, McClellan it, or whatever. Uh, I was gonna say Adam Falco. I forget. No, it's not Falco. Um, gay initiation cult. Who knows? I mean, you don't know because they haven't they haven't really interviewed people. Like they didn't ask Katunsky, "Have you killed anybody else?" You don't know. No, you don't really know. Yeah, this is all people. Paskey, Norman, and Gacy and Coral were all working as a team, and Norman ran a pedo magazine. Yeah, he ran a bunch of pedo. One was called The Odyssey, and then the other one, I forgot what it was. The guy never stopped, too. Patrick Norman McNeil. Guy. Patrick McNeil, thank you. It's going to drive me crazy. Somebody's talking about the documentary, yeah. Um, leaving Riley without pants is a form of public shaming? Possibly. Like, mocking everybody. No, it's not. It's not. That's mm -hmm. Something was done to him. Um, his pants were removed. There's so many victims who were found naked, um, yeah. right? Completely yeah. naked. Um, but their clothes are never found, or their clothes are found separately from the body, like folded, right? Um, that's that like it happened on the cross at the park in Riverside Park, where the victim's clothes were folded and left at the foot of the Indian's uh st statue there in Riverside Park. And that, that right. happens a lot. So, no. I think that was Capfer, too. I think it was Capfer. There was that weird Sin yes. Cinema, right, or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Um, but, no, his pants were taken off intentionally. Same with his shoes. I, I wouldn't be shocked if his shoes were left someplace. They just haven't been found. We're down at the right. park, right? Um, or somebody did pick them up. Right. That's Has S.A. been a gay initiation cult? That was the... Inside or um this guy from Secret Sun speaks, which I have in my in my slides. Mm -hmm. He kind of talked about the Ant Antonis, which would make sense. All these guys are young, they're in the prime of life, you know. So it wouldn't be outside the realm of possibility that a gay cult or culture is targeting them, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of military victims, a yeah. lot. Again, something that don't people don't one, discuss. Right? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're famous. Wasn't Charlie Saywell in UK? I think he was yes. in the military. Yeah. Yep. Um, but not just that. Bodies where this is happening, where there's also military bases. Um, Virginia, for instance, right. uh, down in Fort Walton in Destin. Right there, there's been multiple bodies in the Destin, Panama City area. And that's near the... Air Force Base down there here in Atlanta. I mean, I'm not saying, but I'm saying there's Austin. There's a lot of different similarities. A lot of victims who are military. Um, hmm. Yeah, McNeil's the guy's name. Yeah, the uh, Chris Knowles is the other guy's name who who just did like a, I think on his Patreon like a 90 minute, you know, inquiry into the smiley face killings and his kind of theory, which makes a lot of sense. He was, I think, he was right about his theory about the West Memphis Three and the influence of Druidism. Something that I where is this? Uh, I've never seen this. Uh, Chris Knoll, I'll show it to you. I've got it okay in my slides. Once we get you want to get started with the slides, we can just go through. Please, let's see it. Yeah, let's do it. I'm I'm so, very interested. Go ahead. Well, we'll get to that. Well, Chris Knoll's Secret Son on April 6th, I think he did a stream for his Patreons about his and he kind of posted on, on his social media too. So I'll show that. But I've got about 80 slides. This is just showing. This is from Grifter Hunter, who's done a lot of great work. People check mm -hmm. him out on X. Real legit researcher. But he went through some of the old cases in Corpus Christi. And so Bradley Brooks, 2019. Albert Garcia, 2022. Leading up to Caleb Harris, right? So um, just interesting that... Yeah. There's been Te other cases. Texas by a whole was last year. I know we talked about that the last time we got together, but last year was all about Texas and yeah. smiley face killers from Austin to Houston to Corpus Christi. Um, yeah. I, just growing out of control and That's unchecked. Crazy. Right. And there's one outside of Dallas, Tyler, Texas, Harley Morris. Yes. Same kind of case. I don't think they found his body. Did they find his body yet? I don't know. If they <sighs> I think so. I don't know yet. Um, Caleb Harris, check your ring cameras. Yeah, I mean, weird things have been seen. Last seen March 4th, 2024. So these are all leading up to the eclipse on April 8th, right? Which was actually 30 days to the day that Riley was abducted. 
too. I thought that was pretty strange. Oh, that's strange. Right? April yeah. 8th. It was March 8th. We yeah, called the true. Riley case on uh, March 11th, Monday, by the way. Wow. Yeah. Just for the record. You're right. You're right, Joe. How many people have put in power? I don't know. Who knows? Um, let's see. So this is, I think this is something that he posted. Yeah, Oso Bay hiking trail, right? The, so. the day he went missing. That's from you. Yeah. Men for anyone. What does Men that tell you? Anyone. That's what that is. M for anyone. DM. Oh. He's saying that, and that's where. NSFW. Oh, so he was definitely on the, he's definitely bisexual or something. Is that what you're saying? I don't, I. Men for anyone. I yeah. mean. Sure looks like it. Don't know. Sure looks like that, and that's where the police have been searching. Um, you know, I think that picture, that the Snapchat too. I believe again, like in other cases, that's a taunt. All right, so they get the phone or they get on there or something. Yeah. The, you, social media is used a lot by these people to taunt and to set their own narrative. I, I've right. seen that consistent in cases where people will try to. Um, have an alibi and use the social media as an alibi. Do you remember um, the case of Thomas Beerson at no, North Dakota? No, no. Okay, well, he went to North Dakota State, and he was the case where I had the tweet where he tweeted his friend at like 3 in the morning, hey, somebody come pick us up. We're going to die. And his friend re reported back, ha, 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 I'm, we're all drunk. I can't pick you up. And he was found beaten, and wow. they only they found one of his shoes. I mean, total classic case. Um, FBI was all over it. You, you would remember it's been a it's been a while, but you would remember it. Um, Thomas Beerson. Yeah, I'd have to go back. Anyway, I still have the tweet, his last tweet, which wow. was tweeting to people, "Hey, come pick me up. We're gonna die." Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. So Scary. these are the pictures of the so-called creek. They're probably gonna find them in. Maybe. I don't think so. I think he's going to be found, it looks like, in the bay. Okay. But I, I don't think it's going to be in the creek. I just think they're taunting them to make them, to give them that illusion. I, but I think it's going to be down in the bay. Well, yeah, he's probably already gone. If he dis When did he disappear? The fourth? I forgot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this is another one of Matej Paris in, in Belgrade. Fits the same profile of Riley Strain, yeah. So that, there's a lot there. This is the soldier who died, who's disappeared, Charlie Saywell. Um, he was found dead in a river, suffered a violent or an unnatural death, trapped under a boat with ropes around his body. So uh, that that also happened in Chicago. Something uh, one of the victims this past summer uh, had ropes around him, and he had like trauma to his front like he had been stabbed wow crazy yeah, he, there he is. Very, soldier. very violent yeah. yeah soldier i think that was chatham and kent there let's talk about the indian the indian students uh, okay. something else there was just an indian student found in cleveland we talked about that earlier but there's been a, 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 a it's been consistent the last couple weeks with Indian students. There was an Indian student at uh, Purdue University. And the next week, there was another one at another university nearby. And they both died from hypothermia and they had disappeared out drinking. Do you, do you recall any of this stuff? So there's no, been not offhand, no. a long, I mean, it's, it's the really, it's, it's been very consistent with Indian students, exchange students, victims. In fact, it's got the entire Indian community uh, pretty upset interesting online interesting. um again harsha mandula we were just talking about right it's been well there were three indian guys in vancouver and three yes, correct in toronto toronto more yeah, so those are um, recent, yeah in minnesota the last the, victim in minnesota uh so, was uh, jason john was indian indian yes, descent uh austin mm -hmm. but yeah a lot more like it's gone off this whole kind of cock whatever white caucasian European thing into all that. This is a lot of African Americans too. A lot more. Like, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. a lot more. Yeah, you know, um, in drowning, for instance, I had forgotten too. I was just looking through it, but 
there was a gentle there's a uh, one of the victims they they break down was named Jelani. Do you remember that? It's Jelani Day, is that right? Well, it was Jelani Brinson. Don Brinson, it? yeah, there was Jelani, Jelani Day Dante too. Brinson, but Jelani Day was in Chicago and right, he's right. definitely a victim, but I just thought it was interesting in their book that there was also another Jelani and I had forgotten that and I think that's a big part of uh that that's intentional. Interesting. Um, yeah. Wow. So you think they picked them out by their name? Could be. Sometimes. Interesting. Um, so then this is the, the guy who drowned in the Richmond, University of Richmond. Mm -hmm. He was from the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Student drowned. I forgot his name. It's Christopher nope. Elvin. We talked about him. Nobody this from is, the Caribbean can't swim. Right. Everybody swims. Correct. Even Morris, we talked about him. Fort Lauderdale. Um, this is the guy in Rhode Island. He's 17 Tamar. years old. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is somebody sends me stuff. This is just strange. These are the cars. So I, if you want to screenshot this, if you want me to email it to you, I can just post this mm -hmm. on my social media. I think I already did, but you three, can just three out fun. of the twenty are police. Yeah, you can see that nine fifty four mm -hmm. going both directions, no less, mm -hmm. which is strange. So you've got this other cop who has a super sketchy mm -hmm. Back background. Mm -hmm. He's near the site on Reginald Young. Reginald Young. Mm -hmm. Supposedly there for a car break in or a broken window and doesn't Never report it being there. Never That's right. Huh. Strange. Wonder why. Yeah, huh. wonder why. Interesting. Very strange. So that was somebody else's interrupted work, put this all together. So this is uh the reports being found. Riley Stray, no pants, no boots, no wallet, no phone. Should have had no phone. Coroner to family, no water and lungs. So they haven't seen the report. They just got told that by the coroner. So the, oh, the immediate conclusion, that means he, he just uh, dry drowned, which is so strange. So dumb. So no dumb such, for a guy. No I such thing. Think, give me a break. Yeah. Um, did, I also, I'm not sure if you want to talk, but the body that was found the day that Riley's card was found in the Cumberland River, the family of that person contacted me and told me some yeah, interesting Jonathan things. Jonathan Sloan? believe so yes yeah they, they, he was kind of developed mentally he had a brain yeah. injury brain injury okay. and he disappeared um from like a work from like a camp for a group for people with brain injuries um vanished and he had no trauma as well and i don't think that's a coincidence that he was found the same day that the card was found in fact i I expected them to find another body when they were searching for um, Riley, but his family said that there's no reason for him to have been in the river. There was no uh, trauma as well. His watch was still on and it was still on before the time changed. The time his watch hadn't even been set forward. That's how long he had been missing. Oh, wow. Some wow. strange stuff going on. Strange. Uh -huh. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> it just gets weirder and weirder. This is coffin daffer. I coined a new term for people who don't follow me on X, but it's a uh, pius interruptus drownicus, <laughs> which is when you uh, unalive yourself while taking a leak. And then this, I don't know if they ruled it accidental. Maybe they did, but this is supposedly a report. This is just shows kind of media stuff. Accidental death. Another piece of the puzzle. A source tells me this is from Kelly Avellino. A source tells me a homeless man who might have been one of the last to see Riley walking has now been interviewed by police. So. Hopefully that's right. So Kelly Avellino still asking questions, which is good. So that that update, I posted that out as well. And that update basically proves the video that we posted about what happens to Riley after those three people are following behind him. And that's the last time his phone pings. That's basically what she she basically just confirms what we said. Gotcha. Interesting. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it's just so great. Where's his phone? I mean, they scour that river every day for 14 days. Just to let you know, like, it's such a joke. That phone's gone, man. They they, yeah. they keep the phone intentionally because the iPhone's so smart, it tracks you in so many different ways. Yeah. It, it, it takes, a, it takes an infrared stuff. shot of you every, like, five seconds or something. They don't tell you that, but mm -hmm. your phone is, like, totally mo it's a monitoring device. Jennifer Kearns, you were on her show. Interesting, there's already a video of Morgan Wallen throwing a chair off a roof in Nashville, but no video yet of anybody who may have roofied Riley Strain. 
the behavior that led Riley to be kicked out, nor of Riley in or leaving the bar. Very good. This is a thinker. I like this girl. She's Jonathan very good. Burns. Yeah, good mm -hmm. for her. This is Jonathan Sloan. Yes, his family I talked to. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. This is you, Nashville PD. I spoke to the family, other male, just found five minutes where Riley was found. Missing over a month, his family says <sighs> PD lying. PD is lying, both connected. So. Both found again, too, by uh, down uh, a majority of the bodies that are being found in the Cumberland River and have been found are by this marina. Are you familiar with this? Tell me, tell me about it. Uh, that I'm just it's another place of a lot of these bodies all over America. A lot of bump, dumping grounds have been on boat ramps. That's where um, right. Mr. Sloan right. was found. Um, but there were multiple other, there's been other bodies leading up to the murder of Riley that have been found down at that. There's a marina down there. Oh, but okay. again, all the bodies are being found in the same place. Uh, one of my followers, too, whose son was murdered in 2013. This in Nashville, the same way was found. Uh, his car was found before the same bridge that Riley, um, the, the second bridge. Um, so very similar. Again, he was talking to people on Broad Street, vanished. They found his car before the bridge. They said he committed suicide. He was found down the river days later. Um, same everything. Crazy, yeah. I mean, so it's it's happening all over there. Wow. Um, somebody asked in the chat, wasn't there some wasn't there a guy at Boston who survived a drowning and one of the first rescuers was suspicious? Yes, yes, there was. Yeah, injured man rescued from TD Garden, and his name. Uh, there's a really good video of him talking about his situation. I yeah. think I linked to it in my book, but yeah, it's uh smiley face survivor speaks out. You can find it on YouTube. His name is Josh. Literally face down in the water after a TD Garden. Who else was at TD Garden? Hurley and the other guy whose name I can't Michael remember. Kelleher. Kelleher, yes. Oh, Kelleher, yes. that's it. The guy who's who went north, crossed the James. That's right. Then disappeared Hoover. and his phone. Yeah, his phone started going south. But he Hoover. went north. Yeah. Yeah. Uber, Uber again. Um, it's a common theme. I know we've talked about this, but again, in the Caleb Harris case, ordered Uber Eats. The food was left outside, it, and he's gone. Right again. There's so right. many of these cases where Uber is being used. Uh, can't help right. but wonder. You can't help but wonder. I mean, it's a perfect crime if you're an Uber driver. You're driving around, and then you see a victim. You just turn off your phone. Uh, um, maybe you still have your Uber tag. Hey, you want a ride? I give you a ride. Give me twenty bucks or something. I don't know. Let's talk about Christian Pugh. All right, let's do it. Um, you're right about Christian Pugh surviving. I don't mind talking about it now. I, 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 I would normally not say stuff that people have told me in private, but I did talk to Christian Pugh and his dad was very outspoken. And I'll, what I have, what I will tell you that he was a victim. He was supposed to die and that he went downtown with his friends. He started at a party. He was with his friends. He does. He thinks that's where he was drugged first. Okay. Wow, wow. And he took an Uber downtown. He was separated from his phone in the Uber. They went to a bar on Rainy Street, right? Doesn't remember anything. Gone. Was thrown off a bridge where all the other bodies were have been found. Not, I'm not talking about the Lady Bird. I'm talking about the other murders, which there's a bunch of other ones there. And he was dumped uh, in the river, and he was supposed to die. And he had over 100000 dollars worth of medical bills to his upper body not his lower body he was supposed to drown and die and for some reason he didn't um wow, that's so crazy 60 hours missing right or like in like the 60 weeks hours yeah. gone mm -hmm. wow i couldn't remember 60 hours it's so crazy <sighs> somebody asks here why not have a remote viewer well if you read my new book there is a remote viewer who worked on a case that uh jim knows very well the kid, the case of Col Col no, it was uh, not Colin Fortney. It was Colin Finnerty. Ah, Dive, yeah. Contact of mine remote remote viewed that, and the remote viewer without this is literally in Switzerland with no information. Kind of retells the story of this. Really? Case. Yeah, absolutely. I've never That's seen that. Point. I'll send it to you. Please. It's, on the, it's, it's chapter 27 of my new book. You guys can check that out. But it's basically the same thing. So remote viewers have worked on that. <clears throat> um, 
the also a remote viewer actually work and some of this work will come out in time but a remote viewer worked on what's the other case out of columbus ohio not joy the butte what's that guy's schaefer mm -hmm. and the remote viewer came back and said schaefer's living his best life uh what? in the Carib in the caribbean you know and that there was there was actually bad information about the bar he was in. There was like a, you had to go up an escalator to the second floor, and people said that the and this is according to the remote viewer. The remote viewer said that the camera people just said the camera was focused on the escalator. Well, that wasn't true. The camera camera swiveled ninety degrees each way. So Schaefer just timed it right, and that's why they didn't see him leave. I, I believe that's that. according to the that's according to the remote viewer. He was murdered, though. I don't believe that he's no, not. Okay. He would not have walked away from being in med school, and I I might be able to buy that if that was the only case in uh, Columbus, Ohio. But that's what the remote viewer. Not, you know, remote viewing, you got to take the grain. Uh, no, no, no. Interesting. I I'm a, I keep a very open mind. I I do. Um. So let's see other questions. This is a guy out of the UK, O'Sullivan. Mm -hmm. Disappeared March 2nd. I don't think they found his body yet. Leaving this a is party. Bristol, Bristol hotspot, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Again, tons of cases. Fits all the same profile. 324 a.m. Yep. late night. Saying, you know, yeah, again, all thing. these cases in the UK, uh, in Amsterdam, they're same thing. They're, oh, the guys are drunk and they're trying to pee and they fall in. They can't get out. Yeah, it's the um, same thing. P.S. Interruptus, guess, and, uh, you know, it's the same thing. And then guess what? Same thing with all these other smiley face face killings. Missing Jack O'Sullivan's mom says, lost phone could unlock mystery. Where's his phone? Mm -hmm. Where's him and his phone? That's, that's evidence of some kind of foul play. Give me a break, please. <clears throat> Greg Shelton missing John Dunwoody, Georgia. This is Where is that? Uh, Dunwoody, Georgia. He's kind of an older guy, 36. I've never seen that. I'm that's... then there were two bodies in an island. Um, Charleston, 20... yeah, Charleston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a friend uh, who's a follower on Twitter. He's he used to work at one of those places and he was doing some snooping around. And I guess apparently the obituary of the younger gentleman who was found he listed as one of the places he used to go was a local bar and it's known mm -hmm. for gay gay yeah there's a gay correlation there's no question charleston georgia dr zachary lewis and leland mcclellan were both the two victims there mm -hmm. but these are the articles about them there's cluster yeah, right cluster yeah back to back same week that's con that's and that's pretty consistent with almost every single um, when we see the like an explosion of cases like you saw in Vancouver or um like when at the salt shed, right? Or right. That's uh, outside of New York, right? You That's know, there were multiple there. victims like all in a in a couple weeks. Right. right? And yeah. it happened it, even if you recall, we talked about this last time, but Bryce Borka, after Bryce Borka, the next week in Stillwater, Minnesota, that young man went missing from the bar. And they found him in the snow the next day, and they said he died from exposure. And he they threw wow. he found his keys thrown behind a dumpster, and they threw out his phone thrown someplace else. And it was at two o'clock, and he just left his friends and stuff again. Same same in the same cluster. It's like it happens all the time. Right. It is strange that it happens and then drops off. It is like something's moving around. It's almost it's almost. almost like that. It's almost like that. Right. So Zachary Lewis, McClellan. I mean, there's that's just a, such a great point. There's so many, there's so many cases all over too. Like down where I live, right? There's only been one case at the University of Alabama, right? There's been a couple cases at the University of Clemson. There's been a couple cases, or more, there's been more. There's, there's been cases at the University of Georgia. There's been cases in Statesboro, uh, Georgia, uh, Georgia Southern. You know, there's like all these like college towns where is it people living there? Are people coming into town? Y you know, right. uh, Columbus is another college town, of course, right? There's been a handful of other cases other than just Schaefer. Right. Joey LeBute, that was when the Arnold Classic was in town, right? So right. people travel, move in, they commit a crime and leave. It makes perfect sense. He wanted to do it. Yeah. Um, have people identified the suspicious rescuer of Josh in Boston? Who no. Might be? No, they have not. So that's another no. police failure. 
that we could have... crack open these cases. And actually, the guy in in Oxford, UK, could crack open these cases too, because he was all over the internet. He had multiple aliases, and they just never caught into it. And it fits the typology of this kind of international travel because he was visiting Austin, where his other transsexual boyfriend whose semen was all over his jacket in some kind of weird occult way, uh, was living. So, like, you have these, con and they're into the same almost imagery as the ONA, like guns, leather, um, outdoors, really strange, but communicating internationally, which is something I've always speculated about, but it all it was all true there in that uh, Scarlet Blake case, Oxford, UK, incredible. Let's, let's talk about guns. Um, that's a that's great good. point you bring up, something that no one's really mentioned, but I'm almost certain guns are used. I'm almost certain a gun was put in Riley's face. Um, that these that there's a reason when whatever happens and they figure out that the trap's been set and they've messed up by meeting whoever right. they're meeting, a right. gun is put in their face. Um, and there have there's a handful of smiley cases that have gunshot wounds. People don't know this, but it's a fact. Uh, like about a five. Um, where and, and the gunshot was not the cause of death, I add, in any of these cases. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, no, I mean, it's you can't trust what the police are telling what's come out of the medical examiner offices on these cases. It's incredible. This is two cases in New York City, Breezy Point. This guy's name was Colin Marma. This is recent. What was this? April 5th, he was found. The wave is featuring this, and they, they wouldn't identify the name of the other body. I couldn't figure it out. It's so strange. Why another oh no, two two back to back, mm -hmm. right next to each other. So they found two bodies in Rockaway Beach, but no no name of the other person isn't disclosed. What? That's so crazy. And then this is actually interesting. Sloan Bella, somebody sent me this to my YouTube channel, but I'll read it out for the audio. Mr. Ramsey thought you'd be interested in this new info. Last night on Sloan Bella, she said Riley Strain was a smiley face killer victim. Sloan is the one who said what P. Diddy is before the truth came out. She lives in Hollywood area and has been doing psychic readings 40 years. Anyway, she deleted her vid from last night. Um, she was on a roll. Some lady accused her of killing her son who died in a motorcycle accident. I think she may have said more than she meant to last night. Everyone knows the country singer's name not the bar, bar owner. And the country singer's name is um, Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. So, yeah. It's really yeah. strange. Like, whoa. But uh, this is Sloan Bella. So she's like, I mean, you got to take a grain of salt with remote viewers or psychics, but she got freaked out enough to delete the video. So somebody sent me this about uh, Ed Sheeran in a coffee shop. Yeah. Who has tons of smiley face imagery. And literal tattoo of a smiley face on his body, and writes songs like uh, "Bad Habits," which is like a mm -hmm. SFK That's nightmare. Odd. Yeah, but the, the smile. This is, this is the sign in Luke's rather ironic thing. Luke Brian's bar smile, right? Smile it up. And the like rainy street desk. This is Dash documenting ATX body recovery mm -hmm. at a Lady Bird Lake water. Mm -hmm. So that sounds like what happened in that case this week. That was right in front of City Hall. And they tried to say that that somebody had a, a cardiac arrest, but I'm not sure I buy that because uh, they had the whole thing taped off, number one. Oh, and number yeah. two, what you just said, it happened early in the morning. And I think that's that somebody saw a body and called it in, and they just said it was a cardiac arrest. I don't think it was. Wow. Wouldn't surprise me. You can't trust these people's what they're putting out in the public. Um, all people says Sloan Bella did a West Memphis three. I listened to it. She did a pretty good job. Like as somebody who knows like the West Memphis three case with like the back of my hand, I was I was pleasantly surprised. I, I usually find people's analyses aren't aren't very good on the West Memphis three, but I, I thought she did a good job. She actually said for court, that they were involved, that the people who were arrested were involved. This is another wow. guy. I, well, yeah. Uh, Caleb, before her, Caleb Harris was Harley Morris. So this is Harley Morris out of Tyler, Texas. This is yes. kind of, yeah. January 21st, 3 a.m. walking around. Oh, there you go. Don't walk around at 3 a.m. 29. This is him. He fits the type. Young, skinny. So many. Yeah. You know. 
No, it's no, bad things are happening in the middle of the night. No doubt. Yeah, they are. This is the guy I mentioned earlier, Abdul Muhammad, Cleveland. Mm -hmm. um, this is another guy, Chicago. Oh, yeah. He's missing. He's Jeffrey missing. Linton. And that's missing from the same part of town in Chicago where all the other men have disappeared wow. from. Can't confirm yeah. that. Um, yeah, Chicago's still absolutely one of the worst places. Then, but I, I suspect that this gentleman, uh, Jeffrey Winton, is a victim. victim. He's a graduate student. Yes, been abducted. Yeah, fits it. Um, they a lot of African Americans in Chicago. A lot. So, if you're African, well, a lot in Houston too. There were a couple there, but. Uh, Jelani Day is really the most famous one because it I involved mean, a lot of press and that guy Crump, the kind of civil rights attorney, was involved. But yes, Ben Crump. Uh, ben Crump, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Ray Spader himself. He's tried yeah. to get involved with a couple of only, he's only interested in the African American cases and he's only interested in trying to make the case that police are doing this to these ch oh, young men. Well, that would fit. He's probably just a police hater. This, I included this one because. This is like a cell phone thing. The cell phone is found, but he's not found. His this okay. Is Hawk, Aiken uh, Bailey, twenty nineteen. Yeah, but no. So this is a great case. I'm glad you brought it up um, because people don't understand this case. His phone was found, and it was found by somebody, and he called Turtle Boy in Boston. And I believe that the guy who found his phone is involved. Because he turned the phone on and it was off and then acted like he just found it. Sim wow. has sound does it sound familiar? Yep. Right? Wow. And he was kicked out of the bar and he wasn't drinking. Same deal. People were waiting on him. Um, they also, the day before his body was found, a, an anonymous tip was called in. And they wow. said that they they saw a body in the pla in a place in the river. So everybody rushed out there and they didn't find anything. And then guess what? The next day same spot right they wanted them found which is the same thing i keep saying in a lot of these cases um, right so they're not they could somebody could take the body and drive it up into the woods where nobody would ever find it at some spot right so instead they want it's almost like there's an intentional psychological element, yes almost could. like the son of sam yes they want to people feel the tragedy Oh, it's worse than that. They they taunt people all yeah. the time with the sh with their shoes and their personal belongings, and where the victim will be found with one shoe uh, on, right. but his it's other shoe sad. will be found where he vanished. And they found his. They only find his shoe, but they can't find his body for two weeks. And then all of a sudden, or they'll find his other shoe, and then they'll find the body, or they'll never find the body, and they'll only find his shoes or his clothes. It's they're, they're torturing the families and toying with the police. And they they did this in the in the strain case non stop. Right, right. And this is kind of reminds me of the strain case. These guys went out and got a billboard. This is very common. So this guy, I just see saw a lot of correlations between this particular case and some of the other ones. This is another one, black guy, Winston mm -hmm. Trey Paul, mm -hmm. March 23rd, missing. I don't think they found him yet. Oh, they haven't. They Minnesota, haven't Peter Martin, him. Duluth, right? So mm -hmm. I don't think they found him. So they haven't. Another, yeah. another place, right? Just, again, places that are suspicious because of their history. Right. Right? Right. It's all Minnesota's during the same spot. time. Look, yep. it's like March 11th, right yep. after when everything else is going on. I mean, like all the stars are aligning this since Riley with Texas, uh, Boston, Chicago, Minnesota, Wisconsin, right? Uh, Rhode Island, um, New York, uh, Charleston, Miami, right? We're seeing like all over young men disappearing, doing the exact same thing and being found in the water. That's right. why I call it a kill cycle, because it, it seems like an order has been given, because then right. it stops. Right, like it goes, and then it stops. Maori says it would be strange if the chemical companies there were covered and connect. Well, it would, because that's where um, Riley Strain was found. It's some kind of international chemical, e-chem or something mm -hmm. like that or something. Mm -hmm. Very curious that that was the place he was found eight miles down river. Yeah, the, I don't think they wanted to leave him there. I think that they screwed up and that because this blew up so fast that they had to dump him. They had to get rid of him quick. And I, yeah, I think you're right. Um, this is the, the one I was talking about. Yeah. Chris Knoll, secrets on speaks. 
I'll read it out. Based on the MO and the victimology, I've long suspected that the so-called smiley face killings may be the work of an Antonist cult within the military. The fact that Riley Strain was found on the first day of the Hilaria might bolster this. Antonus was syncretized with a number of gods, especially dying, rising gods like Attis. His rebirth gave rise to the Hilaria, the day of joy associated with jokes and pranks. Antonus has come to be called the gay god. A lot of suspected SFK victims have been young gay men, and Riley was last seen on Gay Street. Well, Luke Bryan's Bar 32 Bridge is right down the street from the Parthenon, which is kind of interesting as well. Yes, right. Hmm. I was there, I told you, on Nashville during Gay Pride, and it was um, very interesting that weekend. And for, for people who don't know, Antonus was considered like the perfect specimen for the gay emperor Hadrian, right? So Hadrian was gay. Hadrian was like you know 150 AD, and Antonus was or either drowned or did drown in the Nile. So it prefer, he preserved his beauty, right? So it would make sense that these guys are drowned to preserve their good lookingness. Like I think Riley Strain was a good looking guy, tall, skinny, nice features. Absolutely. So it would fit in with all the other victims too. Like somebody's doing something like out of anger or preserving something. And if you like, I learned of Antonis through uh, the whole Pizzagate situation because mm. I didn't really know the kind of importance in the gay community, but the guy who was Jimmy Comet used a picture of the Antonis uh, statue as his huh. icon. Yeah. As his avatar. Like who the hell is this? And somebody says it's Antonis. And huh. then you read kind of the gay literature and Antonis is all over the place. There's books about Antonis and this kind of ideal person who I think was in his teens or early twenties, right? Fits that smiley face killer. So I think Chris Knowles is on to something as usual. Like, I mean, and that's, I think, one of the Im kind of things that prevents the public from kind of understanding the mentality and mindset is that they are not seeing these people as, you know, somebody else may see them. So that's kind of like another thing. It's like understanding this. And there are tons of gay clubs like involved or gay areas involved in these deaths. Tons. Tons. Yeah, so then this is Wyatt Roland, 17. Mm -hmm. This is from you. Yep. South Dakota. This is Leaving March. a party. Leaving a party. Yep. Covered in pond. Yeah. Yep. Can't swim through a 17-year-old guy. Can't make it through a pond. Mm -hmm. Really challenging, you know. Kind of no way. So that's kind of silly. I think Carson Hughes is who I was talking about. Was the I think is that the next one? Is this him? Maybe. Yeah, that's Carson it. Hughes out. That's mm -hmm. Indiana suspicious out photographing or doing something and uh mm -hmm. vehicles keys unlocked nearby the boat ramp mm -hmm. ten thousand dollar camera left yeah, left there and so it's not mm -hmm. money nope body pulled from the charleston river and march 19th no name zero the last two people last two bodies at least in boston have not been uh, identified publicly refused State police didn't release the identity of the person who was found in the water because people want to know. That's why they're not doing it. And these are somebody sent this to me about Azar Scott Thomas. And thank you for sending it to me, Quadra Diaz, because they fit the smiley face killings. Missing March 7th, found in water. This guy I saw that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't post I didn't post that, but um interesting because it's a Scully River again, and that yeah. he was in school to be an engineer. Wow, so smart guy too. Wow. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any questions or anything like that? Maybe the smiley face killers or sorcerers. Well, maybe they may be doing some occult stuff. It's just like it's all hermetically sealed. And you're not supposed to know it. So they're using code words. They're using PGP stuff. They're using things that um, public doesn't understand to know. That's the whole idea of the smiley face. This is a symbolic representation. What other symbols are they using? What do they know? You know. Uh, they are using more symbols for sure. <clears throat> right, no doubt. Seamus Gray went missing March 18th. It's right around the time of the spring mm -hmm. equinox. Yep. And it's something to do with the sun god. There you go. Mm -hmm. It's right through this whole March thing, right? Leading up to the equinox, uh, the eclipse. Oh, man. It's just so crazy. Like, it's, it's unbelievable, too, the lack of kind of journalistic interest, too, because I would think this is like 
one of the greatest stories of true crime stories of our generation. Like, don't you guys see what's happening? These all these people are being found in water outside of the uh realm of possibility, but you know, they just don't care. I, that's really weird. I don't care. How do you I, think I that is? I don't get it either, dude. I I, yeah. I don't have any idea. I, I it, it'd be one thing if just people were being found, but people are being found leaving parties and leaving bars and leaving clubs and they're not being found how they, sh- as fast as they should be. And they're not, you know, uh, rising to the surface scientifically like they should be um, based on normal decomposition habits and science. And there's all these questions that people refuse to even ask. And th- it's not just a couple of cases. It's a ton. Yeah, no, three, I have 300 cases. In my book, and it's even more than that. I would end. It is with, for sure. It's it's, it's twenty years. So yeah, it's twenty years of killing for strange, re- strange reasons. And wow, it's just you, it's you just ever fun. you ever notice, Will, that um, every single like high profile missing young man is always found in water. I mean, I know you get that, but yeah. people normies don't get that. Like every time, but like a, a story about a young man becomes a national story, like. Riley or right. Dakota or right. Shane Montgomery or there's been others all found in water. Yeah, I mean, the Riley Strain story was an international story. They were covering it in the UK all over the place. So it was like all over. It's really crazy. It's been covered, though, more than it's ever been covered because of what's happening in Chicago and yeah, Austin yeah. and Boston and in all these places at the same time. And people are still writing these horrible uh, articles is there a singular siller, serial killer? You know, right. like you, you no. tell me you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, really. By saying that, no doubt. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's just off the charts. Guys, we had 300 listeners on X or Twitter tonight. So thanks for listening in this live broadcast. I usually don't get that many people for a live stream. I had a lot for Riley Strain. I had like 700 listeners on a Riley strain uh, stream, which was something else, but you can check out all my stuff. I have two documentaries. I just put out a book 2023. You can check that out. I'll put a link to it in show notes and try to put it on my social media. So I think, I mean, if you, there's a lot of things answered that you may not even have questions about some of these cases and some of these situations and some of the other researchers too, including Jim Smith, but just some other guys footprints at the, at the river's edge is a good one. Mm -hmm. and gilbertson eponymous rocks a lot of people don't reference him anymore and i try to put in the good ones because there's some out there who don't do a very good job and have been accused of plagiarism too so i avoided those ones but uh, i i I try to i try i make my stuff you mentioned earlier i make my stuff public and try not to hide my stuff because i want people to learn i don't want to hold my information just to myself that does me no good so that's why i try to and i and i encourage other people i i, I want to support people who um also investigate this subject i more the merrier yeah and there's been some really good ones there's that african-american guy who's asking questions like he was real his analysis was good i had a lot of people sending me stuff that i hadn't met before who were definitely interested in the strain case so kudos to all you guys for you know having respect for somebody who died in a horrible situation like that's no way to go out and it's still happening so it's kind of an uh kind of makes me nauseous like all these journalists who are bungling and law enforcement because they've done nothing to warn the public or stop this but just cover it up so or attack people for asking questions yeah curse upon your house you know or like uh my i've been tweeting false hope i haven't explained but that's what really horrible people were saying about detective Gannon and professor Gilbertson during the Dan Zamlin case when they're working their butt off and people are saying that all they're doing is giving false hope. And that's, I'm going to, that's going to be my mantra going forward. Like what a, what a crock of shit. And, you know, we want it. We're all we're trying to do is give people actually real hope, ask real questions. Yeah, ask real questions, but take care of yourself and be be you know when you go out at night, you all everybody comes back alive, like comes back alive. That's the whole idea. So you can't let people wander off. It's just like the Serengeti for men and women. All these mm-hmm. situations are people alone. It's never a group. They don't target groups. There was one husband, girl and 
uh, mail in Chicago recently. All these other cases alone at night, guys. There are prowlers out there. And that's why I brought up Dean Coral and um, Gacy is that because that's where they're prowling. And I'll be, you can go through so many other serial killers, but, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, nighttime gay areas, Eiler, who I've covered. So um, be careful, please. Anything you'd like to say, Jim, before we wrap it up? Where can they they can find all your stuff at Smiley Face Cult on Twitter, correct? Correct. Then, no, thanks and again. That's, yeah, thank you. Then that's the best place to contact you as well, right? Yes. I'm Twitter. on I'm on Facebook, but I don't use it very much. I'm not a fan yeah. much, uh, as much as I used to be, but yes, on Twitter. I so destroyed my Facebook page, and I haven't looked back, and I don't feel sad. I'm not being censored. Like, I'm not going on sites where I'm being censored. I'm not being censored on that. To same way. Musk's credit i have not been nanny stated or medical misinformation or anything like that so um i appreciate that so i have to actually give them some money just out of <laughs> out of credit or something you know sign up for a, a subscription or something because i mean it's really a serious issue right now in brazil i don't know if you've been following that. i have yeah, doing the same thing the the government was doing here yeah yeah doing here and this probably they're probably going to try to come after x so uh, people, be vigilant, be vigilant, and be safe. Jim Smith and Smiley Face Colt, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thanks for everything, William. All right, take care.